Hello, so I'm here today at Dorks Music looking at some of the buffet clarinet range. Um, today I've specifically got two of the intermediate models, so I've got the E12 and the E13. Um, the E12 is the slightly cheaper of the two, the E13 is the slightly more expensive. Um, I'll just play you a little bit on each of them so you can hear them and then I'll tell you a bit more about them. Um, so there you've heard the E12 and the E13. So as I said before, these are two of Buffet's sort of intermediate models. Um, so these might be for people upgrading, perhaps you've had a Buffet B12 or something to start off with. Um, but they are very good instruments and particularly the E13 could be used um, even at a professional level potentially. Um, so a couple of differences between the clarinets, probably the most obvious one um, is the wood that's used and that's essentially what you're paying for with the E13 um, is this slightly higher quality wood. Um, there are a few other interesting things as well. You'll notice that the E13 has the ring around the bell um, and it's also got a flat bottomed bell. Um, it's possible on the E12, just by leaving off that ring, it makes it slightly lighter. So you might find for younger players, the E12 is that little bit lighter. The other thing to mention is where the instruments are made. So the E13 is made in Paris in Buffet's factory where they focus on kind of the intermediate and professional models really. Um, whereas the E12 um, is actually assembled in their factory in Germany. So the wood comes from Paris, um, but it is kind of put together in the factory in Germany, which is where some of their other student models um, are made. Um, so from a playing point of view, they're both really nice instruments. Um, I would say that you can feel the difference in the wood. Um, I do prefer the sound of this E13. Um, it's got a kind of really, really lovely warm sound to it and it just projects a little bit more as well. Um, it is worth mentioning that there is one other model in the, um, the Buffet Intermediate range that we haven't played here today, which is the E11. Um, the E11, again, is a little bit cheaper, but generally what you find is if you're kind of spending that much money upgrading, you're better off going for the E12 or the E13, and they'll just last you that little bit longer because they are um, slightly better quality instruments um, and they do play um, that bit better. Um, so one other little point that I should have mentioned, um, I'm just going to pick up the E12 again now um, for a moment, um, because you might have spotted anyone particularly astute um, that this E12 has an extra key um, on the left hand here, um, and that's called the it's kind of the E flat key. It's an extra alternative left hand key there. Um, now both the E12 and the E13 do come with the option of that key. Um, so if you want it, you can have it. If not. Um, you don't you don't need it and we have done a separate video on why that key you may or may not want that key to be honest for most people it's not really necessary and it does cost a little bit extra to have it so um, unless you really need it I'd probably go for the, the standard version but it's just there as an option with both of these models um, but anyway, there you have it. Those are Buffet's intermediate models, both great clarinets. Um, if you're trying to decide between one or the other, it's well worth a trip down to Dorks. Try them out and see which one you like. You can, of course, um, get them on 14-day approval to try in the comfort of your home as well. Um, but there you go. That's the Buffet intermediate clarinet range.